Hello and welcome to part four, I think. And in this part, we're going to make um, going to make the BRRES files and import them as well as the KCL to a um, yeah to our SES file. So f um, before we continue, we want to make the map. So we only have race and KCL right now. So what we want to do is we just open up our SketchUp model again. Um, and I'll wait for it to load. All right, and then you just delete everything that isn't road. So I just go like this. And ta-da, look at that, we have our map. All right, and then we go file, um, OBJ exporter, and we just call it map. That's all we really need to do, and we need to hit, um, you hit no, hit no on that, and then you just close it, and you hit no as well, and now we have our map.obj. Alright, so now that we have the map.obj and race.obj, we can open up a BRRES editor, which comes with the ctools installer. So, yeah, what you do is you open it up, and you hit new, and you hit file, and you get import, wavefront obj, Press the three dots button, which means browse, and then find your um, race. And then you t you want to check course model if this is your race, and you want to hit import. And you can view what your race looks like right here. Hello race, there it is. And notice how the cannon doesn't appear right here, but that's because this is the model. And but it is there. It's just in the KCL, it, so you can't see it. It's not. Uh, actual polygon in the race. The same thing goes for invisible walls. Um, if you want to make like a half pipe ramp or something, you got to put an invisible wall behind it so you don't fly off the map. And you don't put invisible walls in the model. You put them in. Um, you put them in the KCL so you can't see it. So yeah. So you want to open it up and then once you do that, you just hit save and then. I name it race so save it now you want to hit new again and you want to hit file import wavefront obj and open up your map this time you want to click map model it's almost the exact same thing except it's completely white and it's just the outline and you can hit save and type in map and save now you can just close out of this and now you can get an SES file. Um, what I do is I normally go to Wii Scrubber and I load up my Mario Kart ISO. Um, yeah. And what you want to do is you want to open up Partition and then Race and then Course. And then in here you can have a bunch of SES files. You can get uh, Mario Kart ISOs online, which is illegal. Um, yeah kind of illegal. I don't know how punishable it is. You can probably get fined by Nintendo or something. I don't know. But um, uh, you can also rip your ISO from a disc, which is not what I did. I got mine online. But, um, you know, whatever. Um, so, yeah. You open it up, and in course, you have all these races. And what you do is you just right, cor right click the course you want and hit extract, and then you pick the file you want to put it in. I already have my SES extracted, which I put it all my blank SES's in one file. I like this because instead of like extracting the race and then editing the race and importing it back in, so I never have a blank um, beginner course or factory course or Canopa course or rainbow course again, I just put it in this file and then I just copy it and then I paste it into the CTs thing. So you don't have to worry about never having a blank course again. So yeah and what we're gonna do here is you just open up your SES with SES Explorer SES tool and yeah, you open up this dot file and right here course KCL you want to right click that and hit root place and then in your custom track you'll have these three KCL files you'll have regular KCL new low wall KCL and whatever this means KCL. 
Um, I don't know what this one means. I know this one. The walls on this KCL are are five meters lower in game, so you don't have to deal with bean walls. But this one does have bean walls, so uh, let's just do new low wall, even though we don't have any walls that could be bean walls in our race. I'll just use it and course model we didn't want to hit replace on that and then you find your race and replace it and you do the same thing with map and yeah wait what the oh yeah that's good all right um so now what we do is we just hit save and yeah so now that we are done with this part you can go into the next part, which is part number, I forget, because I don't know, I'm not keeping track of the numbers, but they will be in the title. Um, so yeah.